You can see this is the first time Tom has had a dustier hand in a while. Wow. Oh, yeah, cut, let's go, JG. He's actually in decent shape against this hand. Fold. But I, I do think I like folding mm. this here. Okay. You got a wife and a kid, Elton. Lay it down. <laughs> no gimbal, no future, Elton. Uh huh. Tom Bustle, what are you doing? The money. But I messed up the race. Do you think Tom's ever said to just fold him? I'm not folding if he shows. Huh? Join here in Madrid. This is a beautiful day. Riding around with Amelia, we're gonna take Joseph to the park and then do some commentary for the 100K Euro main event at the Triton. And then of course the 25K PLO tomorrow. Excited about it. Gonna be first tournament in a bit. Playing live, love PLO, love four cards and gonna give you guys a nice sweat. So let's get it. About to hop into the 25k PLO right now. We have got a very, very nice spot. I mean, this is gonna be fun. It's Triton, it's fast, it's furious. I'm excited and been doing commentary all week in the booth, as you can see. Now it's time to play. Let's put our money where our mouth is. PLO flow, here we go. Hello. What's up? Ooh, big sweat. Can you pick your table, please? Yes. Any suggestions right there? Yeah, Ooh. why not? One, where's that? This is table one. You just pick only table and now oh, wow. a seat. Let's just go middle, middle. Looking for okay. first table, one seven. One seven. Here you are, sir. Table one, left side, last table. Good luck. Thank you. All right, so at the break, got to walk my very first hand dealt, 25 KPLO. Got Sir Watts, Mike Watson on the left, Jeremy Osman next to the left, Stevie Chidwick next to the left, uh, Y. Kim Young, and also a businessman who I've never seen before on my direct right. So I'd say a tough table, but you know, it's PLO, it's fun. Get 100K Lammers times three for one entry, so I still have the two bullets behind if need be the time banks and uh i've got a little after doing commentary a little behind right um starting late i don't get the extra time bank extensions but or the poi points although this current season we're not going for poi on um the triton stop hopefully in the future years that could be something we're not playing a lot of volume we're going to play the plo and we're going to have some fun so i'll uh, try to get you guys some hands hopefully some updates and um let's uh let's have a great day Six spots for the C. 
six-play finisher receiving 16,000 euros and a winner on event number 11 will take home 280 to 90,000 euros. A soccer ball. Seven left, 25k PLO, not getting all the hands, trying to trying to sweat some all ins, but we're in like four, four of eleven. There's a few short stacks. Phil Ivy, Patrick Antonius, most importantly, wifey in the mix. There it is. Uh, but yeah, it's a fun one. 290 up top. Going to be two tables left, one feature, one not. We'll see what happens. We got a break here, but chips are going to move. 30 minute levels, in for one bullet, big money up top. This is exciting, and um, yeah, try to get you guys some updates. Let's see what happens here. Feeling good. Messing my shit up. What's up, brother? All right, about to start. Let's get it. Yeah. Off of the old limp jam, is it? Oh, okay. Ah, low brick. Not gonna get tricked. Just limping behind. Yeah, you know. I think Bedell is short enough here that. I kind of like just potting it more. Um, you, you don't really want to invite a bunch of people in, and I don't know that he's like so deep that I guess he kind of gets the limp mm. pot, but he's he's short enough that 175 is a significant part of his stack, and I just go to try to win the blinds, or then if anyone calls you, you have just a basically a one SBR, right? So. Now we're going to see, because I think I don't know if anyone's going to raise this UTG limp, and we'll see how Please it plays don't. out. <laughs> we can see it's not so likely people are going to flop a set. I mean, one ace, one jack is out. But I guess between 32 cards, there's only 20 remaining to deal. Five ways to a flop on an eight-handed final table, and good luck, aces. Yeah, good luck indeed. Well, currently the best hand. Does have that 7-5 working for him. And also, no one else has really flopped anything at all. I mean, there's not even a hard draw out there, surprisingly enough. Now, Dwan. We're going to see Dwan be very active and creative and... I mean, will he take his bottom two? But he also has that gutter. He has a heart. No one bet at this in position, including a bunch of short stacks. The under-the-gun limp. Yeah. He's just going to, like, take a stab here and see what happens. You know, give himself 110K to win 300. Discomfort. I mean, this is a tough spot to continue. 
with I mean yes he has the seven five but it's a five way pot so I mean, Tom has a about I mean one of the weaker hands he would ever do this with I mean it's also possible he could do it with like hearts and no pair but that hand's always bluffing the river if it doesn't improve if Tom continue, if Bedell continues so I like Bedell's fold. Mm, <laughs> Five seven. Oh. Wow, gross with a pretty hand, but I mean, he's watching these other guys play pots. <clears throat> Curious to see what he's gonna do here. He's about to lose forty percent of his chips in the blinds, and he's he's gonna gonna just take the blinds. What are you saying, doesn't want to yeah. stake his tournament life on Man. that one under the gun. No, we just yeah, discipline. When we did the interview, but that doesn't sound familiar. <laughs> it's not ringing a bell to me. I mean, the pr one of the problems he has at some point is they're all three about the same, but he's the one who is the worst in terms of blind situation, right? Like, technically, he actually has the least of them right now, looking at it, although they're all really close. And he's he's the one who's about to take the big blind. Bedell just took his, and Paul just took his. So if they were interested in outweighing him, they actually could. So I'm not sure. I, I agree and disagree. So he's about to put in 100. Yeah. But and Bedell's going to get caught in the... In the next blind, in the next level, when the blinds go up, and Paul Pua is only a couple of seats to the left of Jeff, so. No, I, I, well, I mean, I think the counter argument more than that is that I don't know if the other guys are going to just fold their way into the bubble, right? Yeah. So I, I, I don't know if I, I doubt Paul passes the hand Jeff just folded. No, given no, what we've no, seen. Paul yeah, play. no chance. Yeah, no chance. I, I don't think he does either. Yeah, Antonius. So Antonius, what happened here? Did he just flat Tom in position? I believe he ISO'd. Oh, Tom limped. Well, this, this isn't a three bet pot. Four seven five minus one two five three fifty. So Tom, yeah, who had Tom limped. Yeah. No, yeah, no equity. Just picked up something on the four but i think he's quite aware that patrick is check back range here given that he's the chip leader and patrick has a lot of chips he doesn't want to get check raised i'm sure he um, it's pretty reasonable to assume patrick would call a bet and tom doesn't have a hand strong enough that you really want to be firing at this pot right like tom would just love to give a free card i mean obviously if he if there's some fold equity it's another story but i think tom accurately sussing out that there isn't much and we'll see on a blank. Patrick just happy to go to the river. Wow. <clears throat> and Tom runs out the straight. PLO for you. You know how everybody says that's short deck? Okay. Well, it's kind of the same. Short deck and PLO are a lot more similar in that regard. <laughs> it's PLO for you. The 6-4-3 on the, the deuce 10 jack finds a way to make a straight. And yeah, I do apologize. Tom raised pre from the calf. Yeah, and, and Patrick just flatted, huh? Yeah. So Patrick taking the passive line with this for ICM reasons actually is going to end up costing him the pot. Because if he three bet Tom, either Tom probably folds this hand, but if he calls, Patrick probably just, just pots, gets in on the flop, and Tom's out. But Patrick played this very passively. Which I understand, right? Your third in chips from an ICM point of view. Sure, but uh, it's interesting to note because it has almost one of the best hands you can possibly have, like double suited aces. Yeah. Right? I mean, the only thing better would be if that six was more connected to the big cards. But, but um, I mean, this is a tough call because it's not only the straight, but also the flush. In fact, he's probably thinking it's more likely if he's beat, Tom has a flush. He's also not blocking hearts. But then again, if Tom can't beat a good one pair, such as ace-jack or so, or better, he he might bluff here. So Patrick with a pure bluff catcher. Aces do block ace-three, and the six blocks six-three, but no hearts. 
And interestingly enough, despite blocking the straight more than the flush, t Tom does have a straight. Yeah, and Tennis would have to be hoping that Duan's turning a pair with one heart type holding into a bluff, which I'm not sure they necessarily do. No, like he, he queens with the might. heart, right? Like no, he he wouldn't bluff with queens. Yeah. Not never bluff with a hand that could beat a jack. That's for sure. All the spots, all the time. I don't think you're really supposed to do it. Oh, JG's getting the. They're they're misrepresenting yeah, Badoogie. It's a beautiful a game that actually, bit, like, my opinion is I've it's a, a game time. with even more action. So one of the it's things fun. to me as a mixed game yeah, player, like it. it's annoying, like sometimes limit triple draw like six or seven handed. Yeah, mm. remember ranges are super handcuffed and everybody's and played the game a decent amount, so yeah, everybody just plays like pretty similar. Limit triple draw. Yeah, but limit Badoogie. Now there's a game where people have different ideas and both. The starting hands and then post while they're drawing, so I actually think it's a it's a more fun game with with a little more action than triple draw, like full ring, six, which is for those games like six or seven handed. Now short handed, it's a different story. Both triple draw opens up a little bit, and you get people playing a little uh, more creatively. Wow, oh, Lovric just folds <coughs> the aces. Wow. So Lovric. We're seeing the ICM effects there. Wow. He is just waiting for these short stacks. I think he's decided these stacks are so short that I'm just going to wait it out. Right? Like, I will wait one or two orbits and just pay the blinds and um, make the money. Yeah, Jeff with the ace, queen, jack, four, triple. He knows that when that big blind comes around, he's... Basically going to be forced all in. It's big blind first. Yeah. And he's against what he figures is a super wide opening range. And we can see this is the first time Tom has had a dustier hand in a while. Wow. Oh, yeah, let's go, JG. He's actually in decent shape against this hand. Maybe maybe like 60-40. Six, probably oh, maybe 59-41, <laughs> something like that. A couple of diamonds dead. Elton's hand. How much is that? Does this reopen the action? It does. So if Elton comes in, Tom can re-raise, although I don't know if he will. Because... Ace is dead, by the way. Lovric folded. <laughs> Bad for Jeff that the Ace is dead. He has, a, he, has Tom, he has... I mean, that's a lockdown card versus Tom if Elton doesn't come in, right? I mean, an Ace... Hard, pretty hard for Tom to win. Now you got to make two pair plus minimum. So Elton. Elton has a lot more chips than all three of the short stacks. So yeah, my guess is this is supposed to be a pass. But again, Elton probably doesn't care about the 60k bubble too much. I will take them with you to the studio. <laughs> Fold. But I, I do think I like folding mm. this here. Okay. You got a wife and a kid out and lay it down. <laughs> no gimbal in the future, the... Uh -huh. Finally messing around. Don't bust around around the money. But I messed up the race. I didn't realize. Do you think Tom's ever oh. sacrificed to just fold him? I'm not folding if he shows. Huh? I'm not folding if he shows. Apparently not. That's an interesting yeah. question. Yeah, to, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the problem is. Important. Yeah. I mean, he's calling what, like 55k more to get. Never like in great shape. It's really tight. Spawn. Oh, yeah. Finds the five. It's a lot of outs, though. I mean, Tom doesn't become that big a favorite on this. Ace, queen, all, but there's no aces. Behind. You know, Ooh, now hearts still. and a oh, deuce. That, that was a big card for JG. I mean, Heart, deuce, ace, queen, queen jack, jack, seven, seven. Ace, jack, six, seven. No ace, remember. Oh, yeah, Come on, JG, let's do this, buddy. I know. Oh, that feels like it's not one of them. Good game, boys. Good luck. Wow. Five win. Good fold, Eldhan. Mm. Good fold. Miss? Huh? You didn't hit it? You missed? So I don't mess up if I'm... You were just cool, right? 
Takes the spawn. Wow, if spawn. you play. Yeah. You call and then Tom can reshuffle? No. No, I couldn't. I no. fucked up the race. Though. Two time bench? Damn. Good fold. <laughs> you call, you shove up. Yeah. Huh? You call, you shove up. Oh, I, I don't think you hit my first shot. I don't even know. Like, I don't think Patrick is going to be <laughs> b b bluffing <laughs> Osmus out of any, you know, with zero <laughs> side pot <laughs> in a spot where they both really want to call the bust. Yeah, of course. So I, I probably, even though that hand was pretty dusty, I probably play Osmus's hand. Uh? No, I'm not. Oh, nine high Dude, flop. He hit the deuce, he hit the nine. Bad news, Paul to needs to find a deuce or a six. Deuce. Five outs twice. A running club. club. No. Deuce nine. Yeah, pretty grim run out for Paul here. Who's near flip has, has become a two outer. Ace will chop it. Okay, GG. No <laughs> dice. GG's all around. Deuce, deuce, deuce. Deuce, deuce, ten. Deuce, deuce, deuce. Typical. If it's your Our day, it's your five. day, Brian. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a grim flop for Elton, that's for sure. Elton drawing to two ounce once. We'll have our first casualty in the money. It's impossible to beat him. <laughs> Don't even try. <laughs> Apparently that is the case today, as Tom Dwan scores himself another KO. King Jack 10? I mean, did Tom say that, or did Lovric just... <laughs> did he just... I have absolutely I have no idea, but I'd like to... I mean, Jeremy Osmus, one of the, the nicest guys in... Ooh. Hello. Mm. Well, we do know King Jack 10 has out. been folded. Wow. Mm. Diamonds are working. <laughs> the eight very live. Eight or a queen needed. No dice for the young Swede. Lovric out in fifth. Jack or something. Not by you. Run it. Very ambitious. Yeah. There's not many hands on folding there. Yeah, I mean, you both have high calls, like you know? a ton, like almost. A I probably shouldn't even put in kings. I don't know. How much is it? Yeah, Osmus awesome. speculating if he should even put in kings, but yeah, definitely that was towards the bottom. I mean, double suited, but not connected really. I think given the dynamic of how wide Tom's open is going to be. Then in turn means that Lovric's, you know, three bet jam from the small is going to be wider as well. Uh, it's not going to be that wide. It's not going to be that wide. I mean, but Lovric uh, actually probably had one of the weaker hands with the double suited queens. But yeah, I mean, double suited queens, kings, maybe single suited kings that are good, like king, go. king, jack, nine, single, and then aces, right? I mean, it's, it's a dicey spot with kings because then you also let Tom come in behind some. But the thing is, Tom's saying... Listen, Tom likes gambling, so maybe he's going to do anything. But the problem is that, I mean, Lovric only had like five or 600K, and Osmus has like 1.8. So, yeah, your your low cards are live, but you're only heads up for like most of the chips you're putting in versus Osmus, right? So I don't know how good it is that if for Tom to continue there unless he has a really good low card hand, right? Like, like you don't want to have like 10, 7, 6, 3 just because it's low. Maybe, you know, something more like 9, 8, 7, 5 or whatever. Anyways. My big tooper. Dwan. Just leave jamming with the jack high spades. Tony's calling off with bottom two. But you can see he's 44, right? And that's because it's not just the spade flush draw. He can run out some two pairs and straights um, with all those other cards in his hand. Yeah, it's in pretty good shape, all things considered. It could just <laughs> yeah. be absolutely dead here. Yeah. Um, so that's a pretty good way to put it. 44% is... <laughs> You're doing backflips in your head because you can literally have like 10. Yeah. Like if your spades are covered. Oh, wow. I mean, it is just oh, wow. Tom's day. I mean, I guess this isn't over yet. 
Yeah, but was anyone expecting the board to pair? No surprise, I mean, Tom Patrick. Can't lose it. He haven't lost support for two days. <laughs> yeah. He's got I'm four used big to be blinds. A bastard. I guess I I probably go with it. <laughs> you know, an interesting question though. I mean, oh, he's calling. Yeah, I mean, he did say briefly, he's like, it's either going to be cool or fold. He's like, I'm not all in. Please give me a set at least. Hmm? <laughs> a set at least? <laughs> you need to have a pair in your hand first, but dealt it in order to make a set, mate. Well, look at this. Tom Twant. Open oh, ender. Little pair. Yeah. Door hearts. <clears throat> well, I mean, if you just call. Well, it's, it's all my chips. Okay. Then I say goodbye. Thank you for the game. Wow. Oh. Probably, uh, unfortunately, ah, Mr. Bedell. Have a Straight draw, yeah. no good. Gonna need Ace or Queen. Ace or Queen and Tom mm. not to improve. <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> Even uh, backdoor hearts are covered. And a queen. Awesome, one of Tom Twan. 84% equity to go into this heads-up match with a 3-1 to one chip go. lead over Jeremy Osmus. I mean, this could... Oh, and that's going to do it. I mean, this got down to heads-up very fast. Real quick. Dead on the turn. Brian, right, not even a sweat. Yeah, 100%. Man, the bubble's so nitty in PLO with no ant. Big blind Annie, it's like insane. Dude, I once did a 17 hour solo stint in the commentary booth for the 2K high roller at Kings because there was no anti. Came back into day seven three with 17 more. left. Seven in the middle, seven in my Took stack. Took us 17 hours to crown a winner. <clears throat> wow. On my own in the commentary booth. <laughs> Just brutal. be in Twitch chat. That's brutal. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's so good for PLO that they add that. It gives some incentive to try to win when there's ICM pressure. And here we go. Both guys have... I mean, this is just going in, right? I mean, Tom with a monster. Over pair, top and bottom, big flush draw. But Osmus, I mean, one-to-one -one SBR, and he's just Pop buried huge. here. Did you? I have bottom pair and a flush draw. Absolutely buried. I mean, it's pretty yeah, hard to have 4%. Oh, wow. I'm like really dead. And you have a three? <clears throat> I mean, what do I need? Running straight? Running full house? So Tom Dwan, Brian, 96% to win his no. first Triton trophy. You start now. What's up? You don't want to start now, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy very quickly becoming one of my favorite people in the industry. Yeah, that's some good gallows humor right there. Yeah, really like nice that. guy. And well, and dead I think I can win. on the turn. <clears throat> cool. Good game, man. Yeah. Good playing with you. I, uh, I haven't enjoyed a heads up match like that in, in a very long time. I just. Here with an elated Tom Duan, his seventh cash and first Triton title, 290,000 euros in the 25K pot limit Omaha. Tom, you were like a hot knife through butter here at this final table. Out of your seven opponents, you knocked out five of them. How really? much of this was run good? How much of this was just you beasting? Uh, most of it was run good, but probably some people were playing a little too tight uh, from like 12 or so left, so I got like a bit of free chips. Um, you sounded surprised when I told you that you knocked out five players. You really didn't think you did that? I don't know. I knew I knocked out a few, but I didn't know it was five. Well, listen, you've been around the Triton brand a long time, have some deep relationships with a lot of the staff here. I ask everybody the same question. What is it in particular about this brand and this family and this team that keeps you coming back and that you have such an affinity for? I think it's a warmer vibe, like warmer atmosphere. It's it's pretty chill. It just feels pretty chill. Um, you know, it would have been nice to feel chill and then like win 100K, but I'll, I'll take it as a start. Hopefully I'll win the... Uh